Mobile could be a very interactive, small screen kind of a platform, while as DTH is a relatively different platform. So is the content same? And if it's not the same, then how do you bring convergence between the two? Okay. Yeah, I'll just answer your first question. Sure. Uh, one good thing about mobile content is that uh, it actually works on statistical data. So uh, the day you start, uh, the day you launch your content, you start getting reports of the content usage. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, uh, though we have half a million users uh, who access our content, uh, who subscribe to our content uh, uh, every month, I think not more than 15 to 20 percent actually learn or actually uh, use that content. And again, this problem is not related to their lack of dis disinterest because they have actually pressed the yes button twice to subscribe to the service. So they know that uh, this is the content that they want to hear or this is the content they want to know about. However, they don't have time or the, uh, the operator doesn't send reminder messages to them that you subscribe to this uh, content. So it's all a game of you know looking at numbers and then uh, uh, planning your promotional strategies. And most of the mobile operators today have a special team who actually studies these numbers and says that this is the kind of audience I'm going to, so I'm going to send reminder messages to these guys. I'm going to send, uh, you know, new subscription messages to these guys. And, uh, you know, I'm going to play a contest. And these are the kind of guys I'm going to target. So they have th all this data available with them. And what they do is we have to just uh, give them, uh, you know, the promotional messages recorded and then they play it around on uh, onto these users. So uh, tracking of content and especially tracking of content uses usage is uh, something which is uh, inbuilt into the, uh, uh, you know, the entire uh, mobile promotion strategy. What we don't do and what uh, uh, we should do and what we are doing now is actually talking to the customers. Because what we are actually uh, essentially looking at from the data is just numbers. But subjective uh, content analysis is what, uh, uh, you know, we have started doing. And we had stopped, uh, stopped doing it earlier uh, because we launched English SQL in September 2009. And uh, we spoke to our users in the first month and we had to actually disband the entire program and we had to re uh, you know recreate the entire thing again because we had you know for example we had taught them how to speak on a railway station and bus stop and all that and the guys who we called up they said i want i want to know how to talk to a receptionist you know i want to know how to speak in a group i am not interested bus stop pe koi angrezi baat nahi karta hai. so this is uh, these are the kind of learnings which we uh, uh, had and even in case of sex education on mobile phones, when we have spoken to people, they are also interested in post-marital, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, learning uh, issues, which we need to address. So we currently address for people uh, between four, 14 to 25. But there are a lot of people who want to know post-marital related information, sex education related information. So these are the kind of subjective things that also we need to do. And uh, the third thing which we are planning to do now is actually meet our own users. We have never seen anybody's faces. So we don't know who these people are. So we have, uh, we had, uh, uh, we had called up a girl and she said that I, I learn your uh, English SICO, I, you know, I access your English SICO program. And uh, they learn on a speaker phone, uh, seven of them sit together on a terrace. And they learn English SICO on the terrace. Uh, because they don't want their parents to know because the parents have told them that if you even try to learn English we know that you want to do a job so we don't want you to you know do all these things but these girls are sitting on the terrace and learning so we have we have had these kind of uh, examples and it is very critical we we've, we've known that if the operators genuinely promote uh, these kind of services there are users who are willing to uh, you know uh, use the content so this was your, uh, what was the second question? The uh, content, yeah. Now, as I said in my presentation, see, uh, for example, education content, uh, especially for schools, cannot go on mobile phones is what our estimate uh, has been because for two reasons, uh, except urban areas where students tend to have phones from 8 standard onwards, uh, kids do not have phones in this country. So, uh, keeping that context in mind, 
if you have to reach uh, the kids through a mass media channel then dth looks like a best option for us because it is interactive and it is visually appealing which is not the case with uh, a mobile phone and typically a mobile phone uh, needs a uh, you know high level of motivation in terms of self learning uh, though it looks very accessible and uh, you know you can do a lot of things with it uh, to learn on it re requires a lot of motivation is what our experience has been so uh, there has to be a strategy to motivate your audience and also give them content which uh, you know uh, you know makes them feel that they should learn english looks like a you know very uh, big ticket item high on their agenda so you know every month we keep getting uh, uh, repeat subscriptions for english seeko though again as i'm saying not more than 15 to 20 20% of the people actually learn It mostly irritates the customer, simply pumping the SMS. Number two, uh, some uh, weaknesses of the customer they exploit uh, and they divert their uh, creativity also to unwanted uh, activities and they will eat away the students' time also by ca ca changing their interest on some unwanted sexual things or like that. Just I feel your reaction or comments. I'll just take comments. one minute to just uh, see. 99% uh, of the content today uh, ported by the mobile operators. Uh, is in the entertainment space and uh, you know uh, you look at any fmcg business uh, you know all kinds of strategies are undertaken to sell a product to a customer whatever the strategy is and uh, i don't think uh, a lot of thought is given whether this this is something which should be legally done uh, or is this something which uh, is morally right uh, for example uh, uh, i have to compete with uh, with services promotional bandwidth for services like rat baki where girls are you know talking to guys in the night and they say this service gives us more money than english seeko or uh, mo mobile swasthya so hum kyu isko promote karenge this is the kind of response that we get and we have to fight this out and it is a long battle uh, yeah, because today what we believe is uh, the audience is looking for uh, you know good quality content however it will take at least a year year and half before it starts converting itself into revenues and we are just waiting for that so till that time we'll have to as you said you know uh, uh, all kinds of content is being promoted today and uh, i have seen uh, people like one of my colleagues was telling me that in bihar if the phone rings and the number is not recognizable the guy just keeps the phone aside so when he asked him why does he keep the phone as a kuch dabayega to paisa kaat leta hai so these are the kind of things which are happening but i think uh, uh, we have seen that especially at the senior level ceo level md level there is a lot of interest in uh, uh, you know promoting